Good morning or good afternoon for our friends outside North America who have joined us today. My name is Charles Greenberg and I'm the Director of Business Development at Data Foundations. I hope you're all settled comfortably for this webinar. Our topic is Reference Data Harmonization Techniques for Better Business Intelligence. And without further ado, let's take a look at the agenda. There'll be a brief introduction of who we are, that is Data Foundations, and how we are qualified uh, to speak on this particular topic. That will be followed by a brief problem statement, something most of you attending this webinar are well aware of in terms of the issues uh, that surround the topic of reference data harmonization. We're going to present techniques that are formalized into specific technique groups and used for domain harmonization across systems. These techniques are geared more towards business intelligence related dimensions, uh, classifications, reference entities, and hierarchies. Now we're not going to deal with master data entities such as customer in this webinar. That's more part of the CDI arena and has its own specific techniques. However, we have included some product consolidation approaches. So much of the webinar focuses on these techniques. In order to demonstrate these techniques, we'll show you some problem illustrations. The illustrations are varied in terms of subject area and industry, but I think you should be able to easily extrapolate the conclusions or lessons, if you will, to your own problem scenarios. And lastly, we will discuss at a very high level the overall components of reference data management and, no surprise here, present some information about our offering for this purpose, which is called One Data, designed for enterprise reference and master data management. So by way of introduction, Data Foundations is an enterprise software products company dedicated to the better management of shared or shareable enterprise-wide data. And we take that to include master data, reference data, and shared metadata. We go back to 1998, uh, which makes us something of a pioneer in the master data and reference data space. Uh, and if I may indulge in some marketing speak, we would use terms like leading, uh, simply put, because our MDM RDM product, One Data, has been available and in use at global enterprises as a true multi domain MDM software for some time. Uh, One Data is a single product framework that effectively manages all shareable enterprise data, including all aspects, including the definition, management, and interchange of data a governance and stewardship framework that can be customized to individual organizational needs, integrated data quality, in short, a single platform for operational and analytic master data and metadata. And this is something that our customers and many large organizations will readily attest to with written permission, of course. Okay. so. Moving to a brief description of the problem statement, we are introducing the terminology and the need for harmonization in a very brief overview here. One way of categorizing data relevant to our webinar today is in terms of different levels of data as shown here. Uh, reference data or analytical MDM entities, operational master data entities, and transactional data. An example is shown with brand, SKU, invoice. Brand attached to an operational MDM entity, SKU. SKU attached to an invoice. Reference data includes analytical attributes and hierarchies that are not directly related to the transactions, although it must be noted sometimes they are related. Some examples, as in trade status or invoice status. Master data is directly attached to the transactions. 
Common example subject areas include product and customer. Please note that we've laid out these definitions and terminology purely for the purposes of this webinar where our focus is on reference data harmonization. So let's look at the usage in these levels. The reference data layer is used more in BI or business intelligence and in analytical reporting, in strategic planning. Master data is more of the operational reporting. Transactional data is obviously, however, what we're reporting on. Looking at a, or the typical custodian systems or source of creation for each level, reference data is generally stored in enterprise applications or in spreadsheets or more recently in dedicated reference data management systems, which is the right way to do it. Master data typically is in transactional systems or a dedicated MDM solution of late. So why harmonize? The need to report across multiple systems or any kind of data integration is almost always a start point for harmonization. The ability to report on enriched information reduce inherent redundancy, reduce manual integration efforts. These are some of the many reasons. The strategic approach to data integration in an organization from a BI or standardization perspective is to start with a solid MDM platform that enables reusability, reduces redundancy, reduces manual mapping effort, and builds the foundation for the future. Such a comprehensive MDM platform would include both operational and analytical MDM, so reference data harmonization would be accounted for. In the event that a short-term approach is chosen for specific data integration needs, at a minimum, the reference data layer should be harmonized. Keeping with our agenda now, let's go to number three, systematic techniques for domain harmonization. Uh, these are techniques for analytical MDM, and uh, we've listed 11 different approaches that are used depending on the need and the domain at hand. All right, so please note the illustrations here. We have two disparate systems, uh, and you can, of course, easily extrapolate it to as many as you would be harmonizing. Uh, in any case, we're going to start with a very simple exa example of country list. Uh, the two lists and two systems are similar, but not.